What's up? Hey, look there, it's Fred. Living the dream, man. That's Ooh. it, man. Look at that. Like oil test Call him the Billy Goat. My face. I don't know. I Call him the guilt Billy Goat. Fred's testing oil right now. And it looks like I just got done golfing. You're correct. <laughs> and racing my two, racing my Duramax and. That oil changer. Now you're racing. Yeah, so we put the Turbodyne oil in the Duramax and the Jeep. Not Turbodyne, it's Tribodyne. Tribodyne. Damn, can't get anything right. Well, what are we working on here, Turbidine. Tatro? This is a junk. Tribodyne. Tribodyne. Cop going to an old, crappy Harley. Paint us an ugly ass green color. Okay, so let me ask you when you start beating on that. I am going to beat up with a big hammer. On the neck, what are you going to use it to support with? I got my big hammer right here. All right. Whose bike is this? Whose? What? Whose bike is this? Yours. I just got out of 60 day lockup, so I'm figured we get something done. What? Yeah, this cup has some marks in it, so we got to put the <laughs> marks where we don't want it to be. <laughs> That's what I like about Fred. He's he's freaking great, man. I'm gullible, I'm gullible man. Uh, I am Stay too. Lockup, you got lucky, man. They call me gullible gullible, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> hey, look at that. <laughs> Would that be better done with a press? <laughs> No, I like beating on with a big hand. Well, that's what I'm no, saying. No, it, I could see it's in we have, crooked. We have a press right over there. Well, you could see it's in crooked. It's going crooked. Well, I can't see it. It looks like it's leaning this way. No. Well, a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, down about 4 o'clock. I was going to hit it this way here a little bit. How can you tell it's already at a 60 degree angle? No, it's going some other direction. Oh, you yeah. make me bend down. You need to butt beat on this side. beat on the front part. Now. I guess that's uh, malleable steel. Hang on. Time up here. It's getting hard. I don't want to go in. It's up, uh, up here. Of course, a little lube would have been good on there, wouldn't it? What do you want lube for? You don't know anything about lube. That moved it. Looks good now. Nope, you got to over here. Side to side over here. Over here. Get the hell out of it. Alright. Once it goes to a certain distance, it's going to straighten itself out, right? At some point. See, if this is Taiwan stuff, it'll just fall right in the hole. You'd be wrapping uh, masking tape around it to take up the tolerance. You have American parts don't want to go in. I'm good on my side. Well, saying. they were a bear to get out. Remember that? No, I don't remember. I didn't watch the video. So I just hit it harder then? Is that what you're saying? That's it. Hit it harder. Why we have our goggles on? Goggles? You that know when those little here. chips That's break true. off? Stuff. What chips? You know what speed they're traveling when they head right for your eye? 29.99. Yeah, the speed of sound. Yeah, well, That's why you don't feel it when your sight goes. Yeah, well, I got a real American-made hammer. Oh, man. It don't now, do is that. that the top race or the bottom? That's all you need. All right, well, I hope we had a right one. Oh, crap. Damn, I put the wrong one in the wrong hole. That's what I was just Of course, you know. Here's the new one, see? Okay. That yeah. was the used one. All right. And I put the worst part toward the front. See the front part? That's the back part. The front part's over here. So with the weight on the bike, you can have more wear in here than here. You can see a little bit of a nick right there. A wear, a wear mark. But the front has more like corrosion type buildup in it. Well, the thing sat out forever, so yeah. But see, this one's nice and smooth all the way around. Yeah. Brandy new. So this is nice looking. Okay. Okay. My friend left, so we have to use the hard way now. Fred just went to get another handful of pretzels. Oh, is that what it was? Mm. Is this fresh paint? Well, it's been baking in the sun for two days. There you go. What do you got, Fred? Fred, we're going to need your assistance and expertise here. Oh. Fred, he's strong back. Fred, drinking. Mine coffee but I He's smell the racing his pickup truck I his smell home. uh Bacardi but no there ain't no Bacardi yeah. maybe orange juice orange juice people drink that stuff let's get set up here so we can get down to business you know really come on I don't drink but if I drink I don't fall down. But if I fall down and I'm a huge petty off, I fall on my left side so no one can tell what rating I am. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense to me. 
So, so when you're laying in the gutter, always remember to fall on your left fall side. Fall on your left side, no one can tell who you are. <laughs> Why? I like because you fall in your raid. That was an old chief saying, a shorter version. Yeah, but see now they'll roll you over and put you on Facebook anyways. So they'll take a picture of you. <laughs> Before it would be your word against theirs, but now they've got. Well, Tatra and I decided, Fred, you're not coming around enough. These are the reject parts. Enough. Alan doesn't film anything right here. Tatra always tells you after the I'm fact. Never coming around enough. I know. What's I'm up with that? A life, man. Well, yeah, but you're on fire for Harley Davidson. Blending fine art and Harley Davidson. No, Fred is a trial test driver. That's what he is. Yeah, I got, I've been doing the oil. I've been doing oil myself. Nobody comes to my house and does it. I did it myself. You did? You sure? I did it myself. Which is very dangerous holding the camera here while you're running up. Yeah. Jeep up the rear end of some dumbass slow driver. Is that why you spilled oil over your driveway? That's stained permanently now? How much of a gallon went on the driveway? Oh, you know it's red. He's drunk. He's drunk. Huh? <laughs> I wasn't drunk. All right, Fred, this has to go in here. I hadn't fallen down yet. See this, Fred? How's that going to go in there? Come over here. You got to help here. My back's hurt. It doesn't make me work too much today. See how it's cut away over here? You got a yeah. flat spot to go in. Yeah, that's got to go in there. See, this side isn't flat, so yeah. it's, right. it looks like it might be flat, but it's curved. Right. This is a flat spot. That's got to go in. So this has to go on top of that. Right there. And then we have oh. to get this. And oh, we have to there. get this frame on top of that? And I don't think we have enough room in here. So you want me to hold this frame up there? I don't think we have enough room. Close. Get your hands off of it, Junior. I got this shit, Junior Chief. There, now we got it. Like, like you just made it. You like that, Fred? Yeah, I got it. You Isn't hold that it straight. Can we get on with it? Why oh, didn't we do that with I the think first? It's going straight. Well, it's going now. You gonna hold it straight this time? I'm trying. You have to wiggle it, rotate it. Yeah. The center will self center. Got it. That only takes five tons, Alan. Good eight lord. Tons. Eight tons. Found some classic looking caps there. What's that? Are you tired, Fred? No. You ready? Yeah. It's gonna drop. It's gonna get heavy quick. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, don't scratch you like that. Okay, Alan. Did he do that right? I think so. Now, which one you like better, beating out of the big ass hammer? Or you know what? Pressing it if I'd have said something while we were beating, you would have hit me. So I know I like the press method. Okay, so we're gonna have to do the press next time, not the beating. I like beating out. What are we fun. gonna beat it? We have to beat it out. You can't press it out. Well, we're not talking about taking it apart. We're. Well, I'm sure there's some special tools you probably buy to press them out. This is reassembly. I think I know what those are. You do? Yeah. Okay. I like it. You like that? Yeah. It's gonna fall over. I'm holding on to it. If you'd let me hold on to it. Where are you going? So one thing thing. you don't have to worry about scratching the military. <coughs> so you got a rear stand, so it's self holding. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. You brought some forward? creeping crud down here, Fred. You're oh, excused. Oh. He's trying to get me sick. One thing about working 24 7, <coughs> you have no life, you don't get sick. Watch those bars are only sitting on there. I mean, you don't. When you're antisocial pariah and never go out in public. Yeah, no, all I do is work sick. on YouTube videos. You never get sick. I spend all night. You know, I still can't believe you made a hundred grand on the royalties on these YouTubes last year. <laughs> Holy shit. Seriously, can you believe it? You're talking you know, about a hundred dollars. Even uh <laughs> even fifty something farm girl didn't make that much. You make it you're making a big joke, man. Uh, even fifty some farm girl. You know, when Tetros call it, cry and pour them off all the time. Listen, I saw the check. <laughs> Do you have your glasses on? Man, I'd go to Hollywood if I freaking... Do you have your glasses on? You saw that I'd too? get up my sag freaking car. Oh. Where's that to erase that you didn't paint? That I didn't paint? Yeah, the one you didn't paint. By the way, oh, I'm, I didn't see for, it. I'm available for acting if you need a SAG actor background or otherwise. Well, that's we got you. This is a non-union affair around here. Don't I know you? that. I ain't getting paid. Can't freaking take me to the court for not getting paid. Yeah, but the benefits, man. <laughs> the benefits is what covers it. <laughs> what, the benefits of hanging around with Tatro? Sure. <laughs> now, Tatro's does not... Show him that again. 
Oh boy. I don't. How are we going to see that piece? He wants to paint it because it can be seen. You look right in the front. Actually, in I the like back. the contrast. Yeah. It's flat. It's got to go all the way down, though. Yeah. Like the bearings. You got something to beat it on with? <laughs> Where's your big hammer? Beat off. I need a piece of tube to go over this to beat it down with. You got one sitting over there. What? The tube. What tube? It goes over that. Yeah. What am I going to do with that? Tap it down. And when, after I got this all the way on top of the frame, what am I going to do with it? Sorry. Close, Alan. But Close, no but no cigar. See, Alan didn't bring any tube. You could just heat it up a little bit and it'll just slide right on. Yeah. Until it gets tight. It's almost there anyways. Almost on, but not quite. How about a deep socket? A deep socket, about that deep. That would be like a piece of tube. We got a fork leg or anything around here? Fred's got a lot of fork leg going on. <laughs> it hurts when I cough, guys. I'm coughing. <laughs> that means you're trying to yak something up. Yeah, it hurts. Part of a piece of a lung. Yesterday, every time I coughed, I freaking got fell over. Today, Buddy of mine had that cold. And he coughed Here's real hard, and you know what happened? Tube. How about a chrome plated fork tube? You won't believe it. What? He gave, got himself a distended belly button hernia from a coughing too hard. Yeah, I can believe that. I there said, really? Look at that. Perfect. That's a piece. That's a 30. What, what size fork is that, Fred? 33. Is that a 32 and a, 33 and a half, or is it 35? 33 and a half. 33 and a half. So. Would you like to measure it? We don't do metric around here. Well, is it one and five sixteenths or one and three eighths? I'm calling it one and three eighths. That would be the light from them. What do you think, Al? We need to go to work? Do we really care? Because it's not really... Well, it's going to go right on. It's going to go right on? Sure. I'm going to paint this right here for you. Okay, you can do that. Oh, oh overspray. Don't worry oh, about you're that. not going to hurt that any. <laughs> I'm not one of these custom choppa guys. Where's my paint booth at? Right on that box right there. Alan didn't like these genuine British birds. Yeah, I did. There you go. No fingerprints or anything. There you go. <laughs> is that the right color, Alan? Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> That's that khaki. No, this is the... Uh, this is OD green. Oh, early. This is early World War II paint. Oh, right. It's called olive drab. Touch-ups, bro. Touch-ups. That's good stuff. It smells like paint. Alan. Yes, sir. Per proper terminology, olive drab green. Okay. Which one though? There's three different colors before you hit the old, the new 163148. Is that the one? Okay. That's the navy lingo for a, all of it. I need something to go on top of here, like being on. All right, we'll be back here in a minute. Bill, working A. Okay, we're back. Here we are. What do yeah. we do? Ah. Over, baby. Manny and Mo there are working on that. Okay, so we got the piece in there. Oh. They had a three stewards marathon, man. That was pretty cool. I had to watch a few of those. Where's my tool? Where's your tool? Drop something. Brady dropped it on my fingers. You gonna hit my fingers if you hit it? No, I'm not. What about my elbow? I'm hitting it. Uh, hitting over here. How many hits? One. Done. <laughs> Hear that solid sound? That means good. Uh, it's not that solid. It's bouncing on the wood over here. I'm going to put this back in my special tools. Okay. I go there was another bent fork tube over there in the corner. Look at that. Look at a contrasting OD color there. OD green. Looks pretty good. OD green. Yeah, it's got some paint. Some paint boogers fell off. That's all right. That's what happens when you beat on it. I don't think you're going to see that inside. It's still no. wet. And it goes underneath this. You can't see it from here, right? No, that's on top. It goes like that. Put them ball burns in there. I'll put you some ball burns. I think maybe we this goes on here. next. We don't have any yet. We only got one. We got two more over there that are so so condition. Oh, heck, what goes on next? Hold the ball burns in. These are the. See, we have one big twin and one sports. Or yeah, one but I, you don't like this one, huh? 
this one here that's all pitted out. Look at those marks in there. Well, the bearing isn't riding on there, though. That is where it rides, right on that race. All right. So you take these foreign bearings here and you lay them in the ball, and they run right in that race. That's why it's called a bearing race. Did the light go out? The light went out, so now they can see better. So we have to find you a uh, correct one of these because this, these two are worn. Okay. This one looks really nice, but it's for it's for a big Harley. It's too big, yeah. This is a kid's Harley. So I bought a couple of these for you. I just got to find them. Okay. These could be worked and used in a pinch, but we're putting good stuff together now. Oh, okay. It's not crap. <clears throat> but I'm going to use those foreign bearings over there, though. Foreign bearings? Yeah, those foreign English bearings. Yeah, What's English. All right, well. From the 60s or 50s. I'm not sure how old those things are. But so then we're we're about done. That's about it. Close up the shop. That's it for tonight, and then we've got to put the fork together yet, too. What are you, uh, you going to paint those nuts up there? Or I was going to assemble it all, and then I'm going to touch it up. <coughs> you can paint them nuts, Bubba. Well, we can't touch these up because they're going to be holding springs down. All right, well, I can them spray down. them a little bit there. So Leave them on there and paint them on there. No, paint them over there. Put them on, let them dry. Oh, this one doesn't, this one's got it, issues. No, it comes off. I put it on by hand. Paint, uh, three excuse me. No, I didn't paint that much the, uh, paint on there. You didn't do that? But you like the color. You like the contrast in colors. Well, I just, like I said. we got to put that into here. I almost got in trouble golfing today. Uh -oh. A few springs Some on there. Slow pokers in front of us. And... Where's your rockers? Hackers, they're in there. No, these guys were PGAers. They in the other were, box. They thought they were uh... wrapped up in the rag. Well, Bring the. I know, and you know why? I don't want all that paint in on the machine surfaces. So we're going to put a little bit of grease. You're going to put the pins in the bottom. We're going to rattle gun them together, and then I'm going to touch it up after it's yeah, well, together. You assemble this whole front end before it goes on the bike. Because it's going to be very hard to put together not being on the bike. Well, that's fine. But I'm just saying, I'm not. if we were going to do that, we should have done that before we pressed all the new the new steel in. No. It's like, I don't want any paint in there. Just shove a... No, I don't want it even... I want to assemble it. Where's your old crew? Where's your old shafts and your old zerk fittings? They're, they're, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to paint it right now. We're just going to assemble it. We have to paint it to assemble it because we've got to take it back apart to paint it. So we have no, to we're going to put it together and then I'm going to paint it. Trust me. The parts are not... The parts are different I, colors. I don't want any paint in on the steel. We put your used shells in here, used parts, paint it. Take the used stuff off, put the new stuff on it, and assemble the new. Why parts. can't I? Why can't we put it together? Because all the parts are not OD green. There's just Parker eyes and CAD plate. Yeah, but I, but I've already got the springs green. I want it all green. The springs are supposed to be green, but the other parts are supposed to be black and CAD. Oh, well. They're not everything on the bike is one color. Yeah, but it's my bike. I you, want to you paint don't roll it green. You the window down and paint the whole car one color. That's Except the, that's how they do it in the military, and that's how well, I that's want how they it. They do it in them. After they put, that's how they do it after they're in the Yeah, but I'm not. Yeah, but I'm not building it out of the factory. I remember doing that. Yeah. Midway Island. They like, paint it if it, Fred. If it moves, <laughs> salute it. If it doesn't move, what? <laughs> paint it. <laughs> like paint Midway, it. When I was on Midway Island, man, it was like flooded with green. Then we had to we had to put the um, cosmoline, which is the, the preservative. Sure. The stuff that's being right. shipped back. That's it for me. Now you're not gonna you're not gonna help me. No. Where's my keys? Then I'm gonna take it home and put it together. Rattle gun those pins in for me, like we had on there once before. What pins? Those ones that we galled up, rattle gunning them in the first time. Hmm? What are you talking about? We rattle gunned those pins in the bottom of the legs. You mean the, the rocker stuff? Yeah. To assemble it? Yeah. What about it? I want. I was hoping we could put it together, and then I'm gonna touch it up. No. 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 It's my bike. Oh, all right. Well, there not you go. Today. How's that? Just say not today. All right. Well, Don't then, all right. I'm good. I got, I got 10 minutes to get to where I'm supposed right. to go. All right. All right. Well, okay. All right. Well, we I tried. I leave myself good an night, hour, folks. and now I'm down to 10 minutes like always. Okay. What about the overspray? Where do you see it? Oh. I can't, I can't breathe any of that in. Well, all the red right here, you just spray it on there with a dim. All right. Well, it's, we just wa watch this. When you use the wrong can, 
course, now that everything's completely different color now. I'll was. kiss your ass if anybody's eye can see any difference in that. I can see a difference. You can, because you're yeah. particular. Now watch. Now watch this. Yeah, I know how to paint, though. All right, I know you do. Get out of the way. All right, sounds good. Well, I'm just happy you're you having some fun here. Let me have that freaking camera. You need to put something over the top of okay, that, Okay, just though. a second. Just one second. Yeah, I can see how this is going. No, it's going to be fine. Will you turn, will you turn up my towels. This is my towels. I brought my own towels. It's in my shop. Because you're towel. such a towel freak. It's, you know, we can here. I got this. Look at this. It's in my shop. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What? It's in my towel. It's my shop. Yeah, I know. You're a towel kook. I know you are. I'm looking for a lid to put over that. Here, look. Look at this. I'm looking for something that I can steal and put over the top of that. Look port. at this, Tatro. Oh, all right. I stand corrected. You're, you're. There, and I'll never. <laughs> you see how this mother of invention? That's great shit, yeah. man. You got a wide spray on it. Did you adjust this to a wide no, spray? No, I didn't do anything to it. If you make it run. I would never make anything run. See, look how much I painted over the spray and how much you overpainted the spray. Okay, now you gotta go clean my can off because now it's green. I don't like green caps in my cans. All right, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Give it here, big boy. Got you covered. I'm not done on my tools. Okay, Alan's over there talking on the phone again. No, no. I'm just seeing if my membership came through. Yeah, you're a member of a dumbass club. <laughs> here you go, dumbass. You know, this, this tube you just bought from that damn stupid teacher guy is out around, so it's not going to work right. Yeah, well, what are we trying to do here? We're trying to not get overspray in to the machined surfaces. See, that's, that's pretty close. Like and look, you got a place to hang on to it. Yeah. Okay, what we're working on here, we got Goebbels 1942 WLC. Who is Goebbels? Of course, we're not going to go WC. Not that we don't like Canadians, but... I thought we were doing gerbil stuff. All right, so check it out. We're going to try to get at least the wheels on so it's put together night. That's Alan's job. Tatro's not in a good mood, as you folks might imagine. He's hurting, been moving steel, wrecked his back. Yeah, that's normal. But, but we got him fed, and he's actually going to turn a few wrenches tonight on this. So uh, we got kicker cover broken. Worn out, you typical. Scooby, you come by. Throw up bearing problem. He wants these painted. Kicker. Yeah, go in the oven. Kicker not good, but yeah, that's what we got. Junk. We're gonna go in the oven. Everything's gotta be preheated to a temperature before he'll paint. Except for the frame. Yeah, we didn't do that. Here's the backing plates. Uh, most of not all of the uh, Chassis stuff is here. Horn, repop. No, wait, that's not repop. Not repop. <laughs> repop. I'll give you a repop. <laughs> Tatro, you're so easy to get. Hey, look at that colors match. Look at that colors matching pretty nice. Look at that. It's almost the same. All right. Okay. All right. We're gonna rebush here for the seat. Also, the T-bar. I learned the other day. This is supposed to have. A down, an upward bend, left and right, up. So some big corporal's been sitting on this. It's uh, corporal, huh? bent flat. We don't know, but we're going to fix it. Okay, and then, of course, a new bushing for there. And that's up here on the, on the top tube. All right. I got to go do some uh, heat in here, so I'm going to shut this off for a minute. All right, we'll be right back. Bye. Huh? Okay, Tatro, what, now what are you doing? Crappy ass WLC parts. Well, you can, you can convince the non believers. Because the lazy owner would not do it himself. The last you can three convince. Months. Three months. I didn't know what three you would you, you would have hollered if I painted something. Okay, so right. guess what? Now you get to paint. That's my fault. That's no. right. That's All right. right, he's going back to the oven area. Where's the, uh, the other can? Right here. Oven no, 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 no. It's yeah. cooling off. All right. all right. Well, let's look at this a little more. The wheels are all done. 
I got mixed emotion. They went together nice. They've got uh, Coker vintage tires and tubes in them. It's been six months. We looked at them there in the back here the other day. They were flat. So that's hard to believe that it's the valve stems, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I sure don't want to take it apart again. Any reproduced rubber stuff, I don't have any confidence in, but that's the best we could do. So, uh, Actually, it should go together here pretty quick. We could just a little straightening, a little bit more. For the people that have been watching, this was all bent back here. The, the rear was bent. Um, the Alan, you sat on this. The forks were bent. Uh, ter terrifically bent. Of course, the bars were bent. We got some new bars, but uh, everything that was bent pretty much could be, except all of this main stuff down here. All was in. Uh, Don't be so close. All nice shape. Remember, cameras ten times more than you see on TV. Okay. So everything was pretty good. The neck was straight, which is important. So if you refer to the prior, prior videos, we had welding rod in all the points to try to line it up visually. And then we had that great jig that Tatro's dad built years ago. So uh, pretty cool. All right, we're going to use this press. We put those neck races in. What did you say? Eight tons to put them in? Of course, they went right in. Eight tons, I believe. I put eight tons on them. Make sure they're all in there. No, it took about uh, three to four. Three to four tons. We opted to go that way instead of beating them in with it. She liked that? Yeah, like, like we're... Oh, okay. Oh, that ought to make it... Uh, that ought to move it. Five tons. All right. Oh, no, my back hurts. Oh, my back hurt anyway. It's all right. This makes my back hurt. Put the mess out. So tell us about Harley Metal, all spring steel. It's all heat treated. Heat treated. Well, that that right side's perfect now. Perfectly screwed up. I don't think so. Nice catch that big fat corporal get on here again. His name was Alan. <laughs> I'm a big boy, but I'm not that big. Wasn't me. Now you know those have a slight upward bend just because of what? You know the stock? You have new old stock, correct? Yeah, because there's four of them have them. Oh, okay. That makes perfect sense. There. Boy, that's perfect. It's got a little bit of a tweak to it now. You didn't bring your seat post so I can see how much you got to squeeze that because that's... Yeah, used up. up. Well, the seat post is here. Yeah, that's really used up too. So we need to measure the seat post, see how big this is, and put a piece of metal in there and squeeze that for Okay. So where's the seat post? Uh, in the box there, I believe. What box? Over there in the junk box, wasn't it? I don't know what you did with it. Well, if you want to hold this, I don't want to walk around while I'm doing this, I'll go look. You give a little more narrative there on exactly what you're trying to accomplish. I'm trying to work. Alan's over there playing near the race bike over there. That's Alan's junk box. The problem is we can't find half the parts that we know we have. It appears to be almost six o'clock. So these are the parts we're working on. And I'm over here cleaning up my mess I just made over here by the press. It's right there where you left it. It appears to be right over there someplace. Well, this isn't the one we had because oh, we cleaned ours off. But this is another new old stock one you bought too, I believe. Uh, this is probably the one that came out of my bike. I like having new parts, so I use new parts. Okay, no, Where, we're, we're wherever not, possible. We're not talking new Taiwan Teddy parts either. No. So what diameter is this, or what width is this? I <clears throat> uh, can't tell. Right here. Quarter inch. Where's your calipers? Don't know. I'm guessing. You guess wrong. Knowing that in Milwaukee, they probably... Uh, they probably uh, used something standard on it. 
Oh, wow. I don't know why you're using parts off my bike for your bike. No, I'm not. I'm going to go look for mine. That is 317, sir. Oh, boy, they would go for something weird like that. That'd be called 5 sixteenths of an inch. Okay. See? Like you now he's going to go put that back there where all my stuff is I'm at. Going and to... quit stealing my parts for your bike. I don't steal your parts for my bike. The only problem with Tatro machine, if you leave something down here for too long, because my part, I don't know where it would be. I don't know. You know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We already measured it. All right, we'll close up that gap to 516 cents. What are you closing that up for? Just shutting the light off. Who's paying the light bill around here? Well, what about that can of paint that's in the oven right. at 180 degrees right I'm now? I'm going to go get it. Go and get it right now. Well, Alan likes to leave stuff in the oven at 180 degrees. Yeah. It's 156 degrees right now over there. That's <laughs> still way too hot for a Is that too much? Can. Is that too much for a can of paint? It'll be all right. How's that can of paint for, Alan? Beautiful. Are they warmed up? Yeah. Ooh, we put these in our pockets now. Yeah. Was it we didn't have that seat post back here, did we? No. Where's that can of parts at? Let's go get it. They're over here, Alan. They're in the oven. They're in the oven? I need that piece of a cardboard roll holding it right there. This is Alan's paint booth. It's in the oven. I need them. What are we going to do? The other one in there. Didn't see it. I'm going to use our red oxide zinc primer here. That way we can I know make it go. I know when my back's hurting. I'm, well, bre I'm breathing. You moved a bunch of stupid metal. Not my, yet. <laughs> I'm using My knees are just worn out. Nice can of paint. Didn't go very far. Too hot. I got another uh, nozzle. You're gonna need it because this one keeps plugging up. Here you go. Went that far. And Here we go. Well, it got hot. You, we left it in there and it got hot. Here's a new one. Yeah. So you have to get these tips cleared out. There, now it's working. Look at all that stuff going that way. It's it's hazing the whole area there with the with the red stuff. Well, there's more dust back there than than you know. Okay, now we can paint this piece. See? Oh, look at that painting. Now, why is this thing squirting up instead of sideways? Don't know what to tell you. What kind of a moron puts a can of paint that does that? It wasn't my, not on my watch. These got to be adjustable, aren't they? I don't think so. Damn. You got to back up a little bit. A professional job. You're good on cylinders. You get it on there nice and thick, but little parts, eh, I'm not so sure. I'm not good at doing painting. I'm not so sure. Alan doesn't like my paint. Well, if you like runs. There we go. Alan wants to run with this. <laughs> Give it to me. What? What are you going to do with it? I'm just going to hold on to it. Well, I'm not going to hold on. I'm going to put it on the oven. Click it. All right. 152 degrees over here. Area in here. What color is this? I want red. Green. I'm not green that. Which one's this one? This is the uh, the early World War II green. We got three different. We got early, late, and three four oh eight. This is called light green. You like khaki, and I like the dark stuff. Yeah, but they're close. All of them are close. Yeah, they're all green. Just different shades. There, that one works. 
Okay, what color you want this? Green. Green? Yes, sir. You know what? That happens to be the color in the can. Okay, I like it. Did I miss a spot? No, nah, it'll run over to that spot. Yeah, you're not filming very well because half the painting I just did was off camera. Did I miss a spot? I don't think so. You know, lighter coats works, but it's up to you. You're the painting. You're the painting for. That was a light coat. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Bake on there pretty good. I'm waiting for it to cook off so I can squirt it again. Okay. I have to wait for it over here. Yeah, well, that one's dry. I'm going to hit this one. How's this? Now, you know some of the paint over those new Zerks. Yeah, they're... It is a light coat. You're a better painter than me. Isn't that a light coat? It's a light coat for me. Just think, we had all four of your bikes lined up in here. Four? How many you got? We got four in that aisle. Right? No, these WLs. Three? Four? What? How many of these 45s you got? 45 what? 45 bikes. I don't have 45 bikes. They're all different years. What years? And how many do you have? What year do you want? Well, that's what I'm asking. You got what, a 40, 41? I don't think I have a 40. Yeah, I do have a 40. I have a 40 WO uh, DR. What's the DR stand for? Uh, it's basically the factory race bike. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, those look great. Very nice. Lay it right on top of the Zerks in yep. here and it doesn't Perfect. Well, and like I said, if we do scratch, this stuff's real forgiving. We'll just go back and touch it a little bit. Hot here. This is at least like 100 degrees in there. Okay, what color is this? Red. You want red? Don't want red. We want early khaki, early green. How come you didn't paint this one yet? Hey, what are you looking for? We're going over to a big military meet in uh, Phoenix at the end of the month. Is there anything you want? Military stuff? Mm. Well, think about it. I don't want to think too hard. Well, if I had a set of WLA case, I could put a 40 WLA together. Well, I don't know if they would have those over there. Oh, what about a set of early 41? WLA cases. I don't know if they'd have those well, over there either. Why but, did you ask me that? Well, I'm asking you so I know what to look for. How about a Horacer? A what? A Horacer. A Horacer? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> howitzer. Oh, a Howitzer. All right. They got a 45 Howitzer? <laughs> Can I get one of those? <laughs> well, I've seen armor over there, and I've seen gun, big gun stuff. We could put that right out front and take care of all the Mexicans out front there. We got nothing against anybody here at Tetro Machine. Cinco de Mayo Day. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo Day. So is that a new homeless guy that's moving in out in front of your shop? I don't know what's out there. Somebody's camping out front. They keep leaving carts out there. I don't know what's going on. I haven't, found, I haven't caught anybody out there yeah, yet. Yeah, all right. Because I'd kick his ass out. Yeah, well, this is the prime part of town. I like getting fight with Retired uh, army guys out there. They're always a veteran. That's what they always say. Yeah, well. And I can tell them what they can do with their veteran part. Get the hell out of here. All right, get that right. off your hands now. I got painted hands. Yeah, all right. Are these khaki hands or just? Well, that's early khaki. Early khaki. Yeah. Okay, let's get these cleaned up. All right, here we go. Okay. 